to me, it's like, I can't wait. I'm pacing back and forth as the snow melts. Like, <laughs> I'm just freaking out for summer to come, you know? I'm going up the mountain and I'm like excited that I'm starting to see more moss poke through and dirt that I can work with and a trail that I'm about to get to ride. My name's Scott Beach. I've been building for over 20 years. The mountain biking here, the, the terrain is phenomenal. Like there's no, there's no comparison. BC just has all the ingredients for building, riding, and uh, I was drawn to it. After a while, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm coming up like twice a year now. I, I need to make, make this place my home. <laughs> when Ben and I first met and he said he was stoked to build a trail, we looked here, there, everywhere, and checked different regions of Whistler. We kind of said, hey, well, you know, why not Black Home? And we checked out out here and Immediately, we were just like engulfed in this amazing forest that was just like full of like moss and old growth, and it just checked all the boxes. And we said, "Yeah, this is this is the one." I'm out here alone quite a lot, and I enjoy it. It's good good uh, time for me to just like reflect and think about what I want to be doing in life. And when I first came up here, I just basically left my job doing web design. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna leave the computer world. I need a break from that. I'm gonna come out here in nature and just like kind of reassess and, and really focus on what I am really passionate about, you know? And to me, going to these trail nights and inspiring like future builders or just even helping people out, like it's an essential part of growing the sport. Many hands make light work, you know? So we've got everybody out here making it happen. <laughs> I actually was intimidated to build a trail up here. I was like, you know, in Santa Cruz, we've got pure dirt. You can just throw dirt all day. Up here, you got rock and all these different materials to work with. And I was afraid I'd be working around it. I was like, oh, how am I gonna dig through like roots? And how am I gonna dig through rocks? And at this point, I'm, I can confidently say I've fully embraced that. Dark Crystal sees about 300 people a day during the busy months. And, and so that means it's a lot of responsibility. You um, have to take care of your trail just like taking care of a family or whatever, you gotta keep at it. It's, um, it's a responsibility. The kids add an extra element to anyone's life who has kids, but they keep me super busy. It definitely makes getting out for trail building sessions super challenging. You try to find ways to stay longer or do more, carve out those little extra bits of time, and, and then you discover something like what I call the time machine. It's like the e-bike. I think it's one of the key factors in making this stuff possible nowadays as a busy dad. worked with the land, what the forest, the mountain was kind of suggesting. Like there's all these natural benches and it was almost like the trails right here. The lay of the land was just perfect, like low angle the whole way where you're not like having to force anything as a rider or as a builder. It's its true form right now. That's where, it's where we originally envisioned it. When we were picturing the trail, it's, it's bedded in, it's, it's down to mineral and we're at the stage where we're basically keeping the original form that we envisioned. The trail's gotta be on all the time. You can't just leave a big hole or a big obstruction or something falling apart. You gotta make sure it's your original vision and you can't just leave that behind. 